Hello everybody and welcome back to One Shot. Where at the moment we are just trying to find the the library, I believe. Um, is this it? Looks a bit library-like, doesn't it? A photo of some people. Yeah, that's got to be the library. Who's this then? What? But I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you're in a library. There's books in the library. Um, go bug the chatty one upstairs. All right then. Uh, maybe up here. Oh, hello. Do you need directions? Let's see. This area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs and a... Uh, I'm not sure where the children's section is, sorry. That's okay, I'm not really looking for books. Oh, are you here to look for the author then? No. Oh, that's good. Uh, I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months and I've never seen him, not even once. He works together with the head librarian on publishing, so you'd think he would at least show up once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kind of reclusive. Which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. Okay. Our computer is currently off. Hello, Letlan. The author's books cover a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he doesn't write about. Quite the Renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But since he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late... Sorry. Oh! They say this city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon, these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Ah. Let's see who else is around. Binocular head! The author is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow. Excuse me. Oh, you are the messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. She not there? Even Nico's getting annoyed. She's not picking up. I gathered. She is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls. For several days. Yikes. Can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. Oh, that's easy. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. Hey. Book club. Oh, that's cute. Right, let's just go up the stairs then. Unauthorised entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call. <laughs> no! No! I can't even move. She is not picking up. I figured. Are you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. Even in an emergency. My programming is not flexible. <laughs> I have not been tamed. 
Sigh. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. I know, I know, I know. Ugh. More coffee. The coffee machine is almost empty. Coffee cups. Coffee is for grown-ups. Hmm. I'm going to go and check out the book club. Who's this then? I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. Um, but I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. I know that feeling. Um, curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. <laughs> Let's check all computers, even if they're likely to all be off. Okay, let's go check out the book club. I don't understand why some people have weird things for heads. So what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. Okay. A big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says, Emergence of New Ecological Niches in a Post-Sun World. Phosphor shrimps, also known as sea shrimp in certain vernaculars due to the shape of their transparent coat. These aquatic invertebrates are the most abundant life form in the oceans surrounding the barrens. I've seen a few of them. Common firefly, a nocturnal beetle with a vibrant glow, sometimes captured en masse and put in jars to be used as living lamps by the Glen's re residents. This has inspired the now common practice of using phosphor shrimps to do the same. The author publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he's written, but not yet published. One cannot help but wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time. No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? Nah, I just saw it in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. You're going through these pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Oh. Yeah, the author doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat. Hmm. So where, where I are where, do we find the author? Some sort of plaque. What else can we talk to? You might be able to help me get a library card. Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves and modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Eh, how come? Because otherwise, they'll think I copied him. Him? The author. I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just going to write about the same thing and then everyone will love it. And nobody's going to remember the books that came out before his. Oh, uh, I mean, I, I ain't hatin'. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent. But it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. <laughs> Even though I'm a person, and cats are pets. And mouses. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. Hehe. <laughs> then, I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. I could really do with getting that library card. So I'm guessing you don't give out library cards. I only handle book transactions for people who already possess cards. Ah. To acquire a card, you would need to contact the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Don't. Let me go see George. Um. I 
wonder if like I have my light bulb. No. Oh well that sucks. I wonder if there's a secret back way into the library. Some robots here, let's have a chat to them. I'll try and chat to everyone I can. Hello person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. I don't feel like I've found many clues here, you know that? Some sort of plaque again. Books are neatly placed on the shelf and not dusty. An off computer. No, I'm gonna leave here for a little while and see if I can come back later or something because I'm not really getting anywhere. Let's go speak to this person. When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. A quick death promises the least pain, don't you agree? Oh, I don't know. That's an interesting concept. Why do I get a feeling that I'm going to have to choose between those two things? Mm -hmm. Let's just run around here, see what we can find. Doesn't look like there's anything else around here. Anything down here then. So much running. What's up here? Go back over here again, I suppose. Back up to the crazy street. There's the ram place again. Definitely like a secret door there. Ram. Mm, 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 mm. No, I know. I have an idea. Okay. Novelty t shirt with a ram on it. I see you have the club uniform. Oh, it's like a ram club. You may come in. And it literally... The secret ram club. I have a watering can. May I take it? An electric kettle. Looks like it's boiling water. Alright, it's almost lunchtime. Would you like to stay for a nice cup of ramen? <laughs> I'll pass. Bah! This ram doesn't react to me at all. Instead, the word bar is written on its wall. That one isn't a ram. That one is... Hang on, I missed that. Read only. I think that's a computer ram joke. But I'm not sure. Those of you that are clever at computers than me will get that joke. So, we meet again. Hello, wait. Aren't you from the village? Yes, but the rams are ever present. In the village, in the city, even in your heart. Okay. Did I get, a, did I get anything for being in Oh, okay. No. I didn't really get anything for being in the secret ram club, but at least I found out the mystery of the door. Is there anything written there at all? 
That's just another faded flyer. This is all places I've been before, but I do want to just check them out again. Just in case there's anything I've missed. books. Empty glass jar. The handle looks broken with a wire handle. Oh, so they're the lamps. It's empty now. So I'm pretty sure I have been everywhere in here. There was a secret I don't think there's anything more in that place that I can tell. I really hope I've not missed anything. And then we're back to this place. With the street vendors. There's no way into these buildings, is there? No. And I've had everything off of them that I think I'm going to be able to have. Who's this then? photo guy. So we're going around in circles now I think. Like I said before. And that is kind of irritating when you go around in circles. I'm gonna go this way instead this time. Just to see what is that way. I'm sure that I'm still going around in circles. I need to find water. Oh, what's this then? Is that the library? No, this is a different place. Locked. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. Uh huh. You must change the colour of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. Two lights are correct. Access denied. Nine tries left. Oh, okay. How many colours do we have? Too many, way too many. Okay, there looks to be a door that way. It may help you to go one colour at a time, management. It can also help to write down previous attempts. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. Okay. So we just gotta try it. So there are two yellows there. So if I change them all to blue, and we will find out how many blues we need to have. Um, how do I solve this? That is part of the test. Bummer. Okay, zero lights correct. So that means there are no blues. One green. So I get two yellows. One green. Tries left, right. So I'll go with two reds, one yellow, two blues, and we'll see what positions they're in. 
One light is correct. Now I'll try and swap around the blues and reds and see if there's still one correct. Zero lights correct. So one of those, so that yellow one is definitely wrong. I'm changing that to blue or something. Change that to red. Change that to yellow. Give that a go. One light is correct. Oh dear. Well, it does seem to say that the puzzle would reset. Um, so maybe blue here, a blue here, a red there, a yellow there. I mean, I managed to get as far as knowing how many. Oh, zero correct. Okay. Two tries left. I don't think I'm having enough tries here. Um, try yellow there. Red. I've forgotten what I've done before now. This is bad. Uh, try that. One light correct. Now let's reset the puzzle. Time to start over. Okay. So how many lights are correct here? Zero. So there are no yellows. Okay. Nine tries. Turn them all blue. Zero lights correct. Fantastic. So we know that it's only reds and greens then. How many greens? Five. Aha! Uh -huh. Cool. I see what it means about like waiting for an easier puzzle. So we get into the lab. My robot! What happened? I don't know, I left for a minute and... What am I gonna do? I don't know. What's around here then? Mostly just access to the, the lab I guess, yeah. See if there's anyone I can talk to. There's a guy with a can for a head. Coffee can. Hmm, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week and... She fell asleep. She's still asleep. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? Don't know. Hello? Oh, shoot. If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the darned lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. She lab helped me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? You'll have to ask the library for that. I tried. I needed to see the head librarian, but I can't get her get in to see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? Yeah, that sounds like Georgia, right? I'm sorry you caught her on a bad day. Oh, wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks. There, you're all set, I think. Wait, shit. I forgot, the front desk library bots have facial recognition and my photo on the card won't match you unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um, that was a joke. Who knows, maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm going to need to go see Photo Guy. 
Something is poking out from this shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. Why couldn't it be water? I need water so bad. So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. Do you really get tired sometimes? Kinda. But I don't mind, it's actually really pretty. Huh, I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What did the world look like with the sun? Oh, uh... You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I've actually seen. Oh, ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right, I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Oh, even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really doesn't want to build robots. Or more specifically, coding them. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Ah, it's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now. Yeah. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Your journey is just as important as your end goal. Cliché, but true. Cool, right. So we've spoken to... Hey, Sheila. Doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? Oh, that's... How did you get this? This robot lady in the Barons gave it to me. She looked kind of like you. I see. <sighs> it was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based her on myself, so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh. Turns out you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code. Made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Ah, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilise her volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realised that. And now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will. Okay, so we have our library card. So we need to go probably back to the photo guy, I imagine. I'm not imagining that I can um, just go up to the library and go, yeah, cool, let's just let me in. I imagine that I have to go back to the photo guy and he has to check everything out. Blah, blah, blah. Give me a photo, stick it over, facial recognition, get into the library. Go meet the author. And actually all I really want to do is get some water. But I've no idea where to get water. Absolutely no idea. I'm so stuck on that. I've missed something somewhere. Can I fast travel around here? I can go to Elevator Street, the factory, the back alley or the library. Yeah, so... Actually, Vendor Street is where I want to be at the moment. I want to talk to this guy. I want to do it with my library card out. See if... 
Are you here for your photos? Actually, yeah. I need to take a picture for reasons. Well, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that the photo center is right behind me. The bad news is that it doesn't work. Right? Hey, you're catching on quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All of the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Vendors even. Maybe Sheila and I can figure it out from them. That's good. It would certainly help out people with expired IDs. Like me. Hmm. Okay, well, with that, I think the puzzle of the photo IDs is going to have to wait until next time because that's the end of the episode. I hope you liked it, and if you did, then please leave me a like below. If you'd like to see uh, more of One Shot or any other series, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.